we, yeah, we ended guy. on the Spider-Man, <laughs> like, looking at each other, like, wait a second, you were stealthing! <laughs> you were stealthing! <laughs> Hey, were you here for that? Not yet. Uh, uh, Lily, were you here last session? Yeah, I was. I think okay. so, yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, I, I was. I was going to suggest, considering that we <coughs> more or less know where we ended. Cap is, is not here yet, but considering his character is like literally last one on the turn order. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking that we might start now, and he's just gonna join us mm -hmm. as the session I think happens. Wait, whatever. why was he prone again? He isn't. It's just. Bugged. Yeah, it's. I I have okay. literally no idea how to. Yeah, it. Deal with that. Yeah. Let me double check something. It. I'm gonna look at his character sheet. Yeah. Oh no! Here we go. I'll remove it. No. How did you? Yeah, do that? Because I think I think the same thing applies for uh, fruit, even though like fruit is not prone. Let me see. Usually uh, yeah, I have so to remove um... it from inactive. Effects. There. Ah. Okay. Yeah. That's. Uh, you, you do it in the character sheet. Yeah. yeah it just happens anytime prone is given to me, Sedge. Ah, uh, which is a sad because if I like take it yeah. away from a token, I would you would think that it also will apply to the character sheet, but apparently not. No. Of course oh. not. And what's even worse is it wasn't even shown as being an active effect, it was inactive. And yet it was a problem. Yeah. So it's just bugged. Shit. Yeah. It's goofing. Yeah, it's straight but goofing. Yeah. Uh, wait, have I... S or, no, we did roll, so... Well... Uh, Here we go. There's a lot of people before us. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, the entire battalion is gonna be like, "That's a fucking <laughs> bitch up there," and just beat my. Ass. I mean, Silver so Sucker, I expected to the start goon first. The squad is gonna fucking roll up. We know about the Silver Stalkers and they're merciless, right? I mean, not Stalkers mm -mm. themselves, just like Silver Knights, essentially. Mm mm. We don't. We know. Okay. We only know that because we have been them before. We don't know them in character. Does that make sense? Okay, I thought maybe we knew lore from our checks or something, so I was just making sure. We only know that they're like a very That's isolated good. faction, and you, they kill people. <laughs> you might suspect something because uh, from that ruins you found, mm -hmm. which I think there were some checks being made. Mm -hmm. uh, so you might have like a vague idea that oh, these ones might not be. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't know the people they killed, so we were like, we don't know if they deserved it. Oh, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. It was the question whether or not Hanumi would be like, wait, we surrender or not. Oh, yeah, yeah no. Or, you know. No, I'm pretty sure your character <laughs> yeah. also was terrified of the knowledge of them, so. Uh, I think, if anything, yeah, you'd, probably so <laughs> nah. you'd probably run. You'd probably run out of them. <laughs> okay. So, as we ended with uh, the knight, but not looking like a knight, it's still armored, but kind of giving roguish vibes with red plume uh, floating uh, from its helmet as it's like whip plushes its head towards fruit as both of you realize that uh, you are trying to sneak uh, past. And of course, sneaking for him. It's a hostile action. So, they will spring into action and... Kind of almost like in slow motion, Fruit, you realize that you've been in some heavy combats, uh, combat before, and your dexterity is like very high despite your age and people calling you grandma. You know you can uh, be fast when needed, but this one is even faster than you in lightning fast motion <coughs> he uh, not really like pulls out because uh, uh, I believe I did uh, yeah it had like weapon like prepared not like you know mm -hmm. aimed ready just whips out uh, a short bow and it will make a multi-attack 
Additionally, uh, uh, this will come into play because Fruit has not yet taken a turn. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye, soldier. Goodbye. It was God knowing you for like a week or so we went together. Well, two yeah. weeks, actually. Yeah. Uh, actually, fuck, I did close the uh, calendar, but uh, I think like... Maybe they hit that. <laughs> Hold on, I think I'm gonna... No, I, I won't find it now quickly. But I think we are like... If day one was the campaign start, I think we are like... This is like day 21 or 22. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> won't. And he will... Uh... Not really shout, but almost like a prayer uh, will say in this language. <laughs> Wait, that's long bow. I want a short bow, you fucking cunts. Is that Elvish? I think it is Elvish, yeah. <laughs> If your character knows the language, it should be translated for you. Yeah, I know. I was just wondering what the language was. So. Ah, you mean... Yeah, it the... doesn't tell us what... Ah, okay. Yes, that's yeah. English. Sorry. All right. Oh, you're good. <laughs> uh... With le advantage. What the... Wait. Two and an eight. Oh my god! I catch the air! <laughs> yes! Uh, wow. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna do my deflect missiles. <laughs> you can use your actions uh, when you. When you the mission take from this. Ah! Oh, okay. So, uh, let's roll Damashio for the uh, le crit. And then I'm gonna apply sneak attack. But ability rarely comes up. But when it comes up, oh. holy fuck, I need that, <laughs> you know? <clears throat> yeah, well, like yeah, in this yeah. case, uh, and a sneak attack, so. Wait, 46. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we played that sneak attack damage is also. Uh, yeah, the critical yeah. damage applies. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so that's 46, that's 24, plus 46. Wait, does he have sneak attack? Mm -hmm. Yes. He has Why? advantage 40. on the roll because he has oh, uh, assassin. Oh, oh I, I missed it. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. That shouldn't be... Are you dead? I'm, I'm, no. It shouldn't be... Wait, only you're right, 46, you're right. Sorry, I'm stupid. Uh, it's... 52 uh, then is what you get dealt. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I can't even see you. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> you just hear like a like an arrow thud and just like coughing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I can only right. kind of see this guy. <laughs> I'm just realizing. <laughs> Someone is very close. Uh, it's gonna. Doesn't it have two attacks? It rolled two. Uh, the oh, first right, it one, the first one right. it missed. It missed, right. Uh, and for its. Well, I need to like double check because I don't want to. Where is like, this engage? Why does it work? Oh, excellent. Okay, so uh, they're gonna benefit from these two things. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So realizing, like, basically, uh, one arrow, ping, like either fruit catches it or like bounces off, uh, or fruit maybe like in a basically instinctual, like knee jerk movement, like ping, uh, pings the arrow out. But the second one, there's a sound. Hanami hears the sound of. Basically, arrow tearing into uh, flesh as uh, 
the Silver Knight deals immense wound. And then <coughs> in another display of immense dexterity and kind of not, not to the point of being a dervish, uh, but displaying dexterity and like weaving uh, across the field, basically avoiding even if fruit like tries to like just swing, uh, you know, does, doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity as it's move. That's five, that's 10, 15, uh, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And uh, because, yeah, and basically fluff I'm basically uh, basically imagining that Actually, I don't have to imagine it has uh, uh, leap. <coughs> but essentially, he <laughs> makes a small jump and then just lands uh, at the bottom uh, of this uh, of this cliff. Basically, not wanting to be up there all by himself. And I believe that's... That's its turn. <clears throat> and this one... Responds in similar. However, you can see, you probably even saw before, that the one with the blue plume uh, doesn't have... <clears throat> doesn't have... Uh, uh, ranged weapon, you do not see any bows or crossbows. And it's gonna move... And you will see that basically he picks up and as it's moving, uh, basically going for the longsword and shield combo for now. Potentially it's like 30, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Essentially getting right next to the... <coughs> the stalker almost as if... Uh, you know, prepared, positioned, shield up, uh, ready in case someone uh, tries to charge at his uh, companion. <coughs> and probably, yeah, as the champion was uh, moving up, he also shouted... Uh, <laughs> Boss friends. Uh, this one? Yeah. Oh. Does it have line of sight? Yep. But it's not gonna move, it's gonna. Switch to heavy crossbow. Uh, regular knights do not get multi attack with French weapons, so it's only gonna be a single attack. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, for we 100. like those. So, yeah, even with yeah height, it's still within 100 feet, so it's gonna just make regular uh, attack. And with... Okay, yeah, normal. Ever this one. Misses. 
Uh, the one, the the one next to him uh, follows suit. Follows suit. Uh. <coughs> also, quickly whip out the crossbow and fire at fruit. Also missing. Uh, what question? Yes. Yes. Is the, are they only supposed to have a two for the heavy crossbow attack roll? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yes, they are not range specialists. I think I'll go here. Is there any way I can make a perception check to see any of the if there's any other assassins here? We we'll probably got a on shot at this point, right? Yeah, you you hear uh, sounds of uh, combat, like sh shouts of uh, Elvish. I'm not sure if Badrix uh, speaks. Uh, no, uh, it speaks uh, Silver. Yeah, so language that seems well, it sounds kind of familiar how it's sounding, but you do not uh, speak it, you do not know it, but it sounds like angry, like uh, authoritative. <clears throat> So you are you have pretty good guess that uh, trouble is brewing. All right. Yeah, you can make a roll. Then... That would be a free action. Hey. I don't think it's gonna be enough though. Uh, that seems pretty good. Wait, hold on. What? What? No. When a person's looking for someone, don't you have to just beat their passive stealth? Like they don't roll against it. Mm. Pretty sure if they rolled earlier, and they have to be that roll from before. Okay. I mean, yeah. So that's. I mean, that stalker. What that was rolling is not in hiding. So uh, that roll would be for someone else. And Patrick, you notice nothing else. Mm, all right. Uh, I will then. Uh... Shit is going horrible. Might as well, right? I'm gonna cast whip. All right. On these two gamers. All right. I will need to. Uh... Okay. Here's interesting thing. Yeah. And I do wonder how's that gonna. Because it's a spell, right? So. <laughs> oh wait. Hold on. I I still should have. It's the stalker has something similar. Uh, no. However, uh, yeah, stalker has freedom of movement, so. Well, I'm gonna make uh, them a roll. Uh, first, the uh, silver champion. Uh, dexterity, so that's gonna be with advantage because that's a spell. Uh, is it with control or shift? No, control is disadvantage. Uh, so that would be 11, 12 with advantage. So that's still not, <clears throat> not enough. Uh, which means if he fails... Actually, hold on. Technically, I should not roll right now, if I read the description correctly. Each creature that starts its turn in the web, or that enters them during its turn. So basically when it gets to their turn, that's when I roll. Okay, but I rolled, so... Okay, they are... They are restrained. No, it's advantage. You rolled a disadvantage. Uh, yeah, yeah, he did the math. 
Yeah, but oh, I uh, like okay. even on the advantage that will be eleven plus one, so that's twelve. So yeah, that's uh, <coughs> that's not gonna be enough. Um, but yeah, but for the start, I'm gonna well, when it comes to it, actually I don't even have to roll because again, uh, three null movement. Also, if you are saying something, JP, in those last few moments, I did not hear a thing. Sorry. No, I just... I don't really have anything else to do, so I think I just... I just and... Guess. Uh, one more thing. Oh, hold on. What's, what's yeah, the Yeah, oh, okay. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna do a sanity state. Oh my god! Silvered knights! And then they just fly away. <laughs> and to the sky! That's my turn. <laughs> Alright, uh. That one is gonna <clears throat> basically, but we will see that through the foliage. Like here, another knife sets in, and it's gonna switch to heavy crossbow. Mm, however, that movement, like item action, uh, basically uh, costs them their turn. And fruit, you are hurting a little bit. It's a bit. I need uh, a bit. A little bit. Saying all this, she's like, um, yeah, fuck this. Big no. I'm going to main action dash and also bonus action dash using key. And just get that fuck out of here. Like, I'm over here. And I am, like, pulling the cart. Because <laughs> I get here and I can still have an action. And I'm going to just pull the cart as fast as possible. <laughs> like, just fucking run. <laughs> and show yell to Gerard to help her. In turn. Alright, so this one also steps from the foliage. <coughs> this and start preparing. Uh, yeah. Okay, here's the thing. I would imagine, you can obviously start like turning her around, but imagine the cart was, you know, facing in this direction. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Uh, George is just going to help lead the horse in the opposite direction. Like, that's his whole turn. It's just helping turn the cart around so that we can get the fuck out of here. All right. Uh, so you know what? Uh, both. Uh, actually, wait, because you dash, so you didn't have like action on that turn, right? I did. I have a bonus action dash for the key. Ah, okay. So you still have like you could do like main action yeah. for something. Okay. Yeah. So both uh, fruit and Gerard can roll. Actually, it depends. If you like, Gerard wants to assist for his action, mm -hmm. then you, Fruit can roll with advantage, I guess, strength or like athletics. Natural 20. All right. <laughs> Hello, Welcome. Cap. No design, the problem. We're trying oh. to make a great escape. <laughs> Ah, yes. So the rogue has arrived. They what did is... 50 damage when one attack. <laughs> We're running away. We're running away. Yes. <laughs> we mo most definitely are running away. <laughs> it was a fucking trap. You're a trap. Okay. Mm. So at the end of this turn, 
you'll be able to like you know the cart will be like you know fully turn around and you like disengage not, not not really at the end of this turn but basically when uh fruit's turn comes up uh you're like the cart starts like <laughs> pulling um away sadly um uh, Basically, using its immense, uh, not really strength, but like uh, dexterity. The stalker, the one with the red bloom, will like, jump. And as a part of its movement, so that's uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's gonna back on the slightly. Higher point. Uh, essentially, like item action, like a. Uh, actually, hold on, because Shortbow has. Oh, yeah. Uh, as an item action, basically, uh, like item and bonus, like drops. Uh, Shortbow goes for Longbow. And. Hmm. Hit me. Do it. No. Rather... They're probably gonna hit Beatrix. Probably gonna get my ass kicked, yes. I need to roll something. Things might get a little bit dark. One, two, three. Left to right. One, two, three. Oh my god. Holy heck. Oh my god. Our life has been spared. <laughs> oh no, never mind. I take it back. The dichotomy of man has struck That's what you get for talking. That's what you get for talking. <laughs> oh, you got me killed. <laughs> uh... We don't even know who he's attacking. <laughs> I, I encourage me. I do. I roll D3. From left to right. Me. Me, 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 me. <coughs> you think as the uh, the one, the red plume rises, it's long ball. <clears throat> the first shot, as it wants to aim, uh, quickly just goes way over you as you're like desperately trying to push the uh cart away what the second one you think he would go at you warriors experienced adventurers the one that are posing the biggest threat but as a moment before the one of the red plume unleashes the second arrow uh, you hear as it's in tone of zealous conviction And as he shouts that, the arrow is let loose. And you watch, almost in slow motion, as the arrow goes straight towards the cart. And we're gonna roll 20. Okay. <clears throat> so, up until this uh, point, the, the kids were 
doing well. They were not causing you trouble, even if some danger or trouble was coming your way, they knew how to uh, hide, stay uh, in the uh, background, do not cause you more <coughs> issues. But Faith and Zelotry goes. Okay, way. really important question. Yes. How close does the arrow pass to me? Is it within 10 feet? Dang, never mind then. Uh, one over. I will need to ask, what are you trying to do? Uh, as a monk and with arms of astral self, you can actually use a key point to catch projectiles. Like any monk at that level can. But may I ask Beca something else? Because uh -huh. that wouldn't work because he wouldn't be the target of the attack. It would have been cool flavor. I'm sure Shadow would have allowed cool flavor. Can I take the shot and instantly take two death saves? Oh. <laughs> Give me a second, I need to consider. Basically, even for Gerard or Fruit, I was considering now with Fruit. I might have you this chance, but because the attack was natural 20, uh, I'm thinking that to have a ch chance to intervene, uh, basically, I believe a Dex. A dexterity ability check will be needed. Acrobatics or straight dex? Mm, this here is not about like this here, like literally just pure uh, speed of uh, what I want to say in English, like how quickly you can act. Mm -hmm. So this would literally be a straight dexterity. I mean, I'll give it a roll. Oh, Kirsch did. Yeah. It makes sense because Gerard is like also like trying to help with like you know putting the card, uh, turning it, the card around. Yeah. But fruit acting with. Uh, great purpose. Uh, let me check one more thing. Uh, yeah, that's one more turn. Okay. <clears throat> of fruit almost like jumping in front of the arrow in last ditch uh, desperate effort we'll take the hit and because it's one spent turn the sneak attack will also be applied actually hold on i need to double check if the sneak attack is only can it only be applied also be applied if it's uh No, never mind, because he didn't have advantage. I believe a silver stalker can use steady aim. And it didn't cost him any extra movement to get out of the restraints. He could have bonus action steady aimed, given himself advantage. And then would have had sneak attack. Because I'm pretty sure that's how I played mine. point and they are not playing for keeps that's that and then that's 24 plus six. just gonna preemptively set to zero <laughs> okay 
What level are we, by the way? 10? Like 11? Uh, like 10. I said 10, that if 10. you basically after this encounter. However, I have to like think about it. <laughs> well, I will not be finished. Uh, anyways, uh, <coughs> now you are still there, <coughs> essentially speaking. Um, so that's that. I need to roll one thing. Hmm. Okay, I imagine like as fruit basically arrow almost pierce her through. There is a spray of uh, blood. <clears throat> Some of the kids like look behind them because they're like focusing on like you know leading the cart away trying to hunker down and there's like a we see like a small spray of like blood on some of the uh, cheeks and uh, faces Most, all of them are like terrified white eyed uh, the one of them that wasn't speaking too much more of a puji uh, sort of uh, uh, build that would have been skewered through the head uh, tricks out uh, no! um, <clears throat> and nothing happens just yet but Beatrix uh, you cannot pinpoint it right this moment because there's a lot of happening uh but you suddenly feel pressure, like mind pressure, building up. That's all I'm gonna say. However, I will say also this. Uh, fruit is... Actually, I, I, sadly, I will have to like put her a little bit... Uh, yeah, because basically intercepting the arrow. <coughs> uh, so, fruit is not on the card. Oh, damn. And she fell unconscious. Okay, this one. Uh, magic resistance would have to... With dexterity. Okay, I believe it was 16 to basically get free of the web. Yeah. Uh, is it? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, your save is 16. Yeah. Uh, but I need to like remember because I'm not sure if him doing that does it cost him an action or it's an action. Yes, okay. So that's an action. Uh it's gonna spend its move. That's uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. <clears throat> it's beginning to uh not really like stroll, but with like a soldiery march. Uh, long sword and uh, shielded hands looking at the So direction. web is difficult terrain. Hmm? Web is difficult terrain. They're, they're not affected by it. No, no, no. This, this he is, is. The stalker is. Oh. Okay, so, oh, okay. so 10 feet back. It'd be 10 feet back. Uh, Five, ten, so like here. Is so this thirty feet? Uh, yeah, movement regular. <clears throat> right, and just like you see, its head goes towards the knights in the back, and then just like with a long sword pointing uh, towards the group. Can I get a cool piercing injury? Piercing lingering injury. Let's see what part of me got fucked up by that. <laughs> Uh, if you want it. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. All right. Let me see. Let me see. That was a piercing. Uh. Oh, wait. Right. 
this one. 30 feet, so that's 5, 10, 20, let's say this, this one's... So 5.30. It's with a heavy crossbow, it has a range of actually quite far. Yeah, it's gonna go for Beatrix, the closest target. Never mind, they are really not made to... <clears throat> Strike with arrows. And this one just slightly moves to the side. Doesn't have to move. They have a yeah. So reach. Hey. Okay. And better is as two arrows of cross uh, two crossbow balls as ways. Uh, Past you, it's what do you do? Um, what would it take for me to pick up truth? Would it be like an action? Uh, can you repeat the first part of the question? What will it take for me to pick up truth? Uh, that would be an action, I believe, unless. Um... Because technically... How much can be a truth? Oh yeah, that's also the thing. Say that again? How much can Beatrix lift? Might be better I just to heal know. me, and I'll lift myself. Yeah, your I thought you were dead, nine. dead. I am okay, not dead. Okay. <laughs> okay. I am unconscious. And also, I kind of want to do the gamble and get even more lingering gingers. It's going to be cool. I'd rather you don't. Because you're the only tank we currently but have. But that would be cool. <laughs> okay. Stop trying to get yourself killed. I you want to have a only... somatic, like, cinematic event. This is my canon <laughs> event. <laughs> no, grabs you by the collar, hauls you up onto the thing. All right, one sec. Mm. No, never mind. I don't have prepared. Uh, okay, I will go here. I will healing word. Oh, I will healing word. Truth, truth, truth. Healing word. Uh, hit the button. Where is healing word? Nest. Um, okay, I have a question. I never moved class in my life, okay? Mm -hmm. I have level 3 spell slots uh -huh. from my ranger. Yeah, you can I use have... them for a cleric spell, yes. Okay. Your spells you can use for, like, there are slots you can use for either spells of the class. Okay. Uh, cool. I am going to cast Web at third level. No, you can't cast for two leveled spells in a turn. Yeah, that's mm. Sally, yes, it's cantrip True. and level spell. You also need to roll the healing I get. <laughs> oh, there you yeah. go. No. Mm -mm. I, I, uh... Thank you. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Oh. Okay, and then I will cast... No, Sacred Flame is stupid. Because they're pretty dexterous, I suppose. Well, the big one isn't. Yeah, but also rating damage, you know. You got told yeah. the dead? 
Yeah, I do. You got all dead in that book? Oh, but they have I do not say Bing bong that bitch. Uh, oh, bing bong the... Which one is targeted? The... I think the one that is red is the... Stalker. The yes. assassin. Yes. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Red bed. Yeah, cool. uh, they have to make a saving throw. Alright. They don't have the uh, magic resistance. So let me... But they are proficient with wisdom saving throws. Yep. God damn it. For you. Oh. 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 <laughs> Give yourself Eldritch Blast. Give yourself something funny. That is literally the exact same. Thing. I'm going to Blast channel. <laughs> I'm going to feel like. Flavor-wise, Beatrix is currently like going through the stages of grief in a minute, in like a single second, and it just concentrates all of her, all of her like power, magical power. And I would like to have Eldritch Blast, please and thanks. Is that possible? I mean, you should Mr. be able DM? to. I mean. I, I, you're asking me if you can take it. I mean, that's the world magic roll. You can it, Eldritch Blast is a country, yeah, okay. so yes, you can you can give yourself that. Sorry, oh, I, thought, I in, am no longer bound. Initially, I thought you were uh, asking like if you can add it to your character shit, and you definitely you, you absolutely can. Like me mechanic, technically speaking, we no longer uh, use longbow. No longer throws it to the ground. <laughs> We, have but, ah, we do anyways. <laughs> okay. That is uh, my turn then. I will move here and attempt to block the way <laughs> from Trot Tr Tr and Die, please. I'm just gonna make a uh, I'm just gonna make a perception check real quick just to see if they see saw what happened. Who knows? Nope. Hanu is still flying away. That's fine. <laughs> Still scared. Get out of there, little guy. Yeah, Get there's a little creature. Out of there. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Oh my god. One, two, three, four. The card is a three. Okay, Gerard. Gerard! Oh my god. Yeah. Cool. Does Thrude looks at Thrude, do you need help? Do you need help on the cart? Do we need to do that? Take the cart. <laughs> Take the cart out of here. <laughs> Get on the cart and go? Yes. Jumps on cart, slaps uh, horse's butt. We're getting out of I'm here. I'm going to when you use get one of... Turn, yeah. turn. Yes. It's not your turn, oh. dude. <laughs> you a little silly? Oh wait, someone said Gerard. I thought it was my turn. No, I don't have the turn tracker attacked. up. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. uh, the turn Thrude tracker as, will not appear. As one of her uh. attacks, Thrude is going to make a grapple check just to grab Beatrix and put her like on the cart. <laughs> just grab Beatrix, put her on the cart. Um, second attack, I'm going to use a arrow doused in drow poison on the the stalker all right fuck that's a miss <laughs> shit uh bonus action i'm gonna second wind oh. okay i'll probably still die in one hit but that's okay that's my turn uh Okay. <clears throat> I've done fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Uh, the same thing. One. Why? All right, because but yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I grabbed but, her. Okay. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Three is a card. Okay, so Patrix. Okay. 
And now, John, now it's my your turn. turn. You can, yeah. Jump on horse, get out of here. Slap his butt. We going. Noom. All right. And I did mention, uh, because I, sorry, I might have like missed that. Uh, I specifically mentioned when Truth got like, you know, knocked unconscious. Uh, that she was not on the card. I know Fruit put Beatrix on the card. Uh, I would have reach, climbed grab in. her by the collar. Okay. okay. I would have climbed in. <coughs> <coughs> All right. So, uh, essentially speaking, I need to double check because the range, the distance might be important uh, for one uh, reason that. If you pass Arcane, uh, in a moment, if you pass Arcane Shanks, you will uh, realize. Um, but yeah, as you're like turning around and driving away, I need to double check what's the freaking uh, movement speed of a cart. Well, it's, it's the horse, I think. That's... Ah, the horse. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Enough. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, 60 feet. Woo! Uh, Go horse. Yep. Yeah. And, I mean, draft horse says 40. 40, yeah. If it's a normal horse, though, it's 60. The riding horse is 60. Although, riding, I. I'm I don't a, think we even, have a riding horse. Even a plow horse can take the dash action to, like, yeah. get the fuck out. So there's that that's at least. Fair, that's fair. Dash action. I'm slapping it so hard. Go, go, go. Get on out of here, little guy. What are we naming our so horse? Be like also, eighty feet. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and that's not for a uh, night. Just doing some calculation. He... We can have a cart battle. If he does. While we're running. They kind of don't. Um. Problem. So I'm pretty would... sure the only one who could follow us at a reasonable pace would be the assassin. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I'm just calculating yeah. he has to be in the range of 90 feet for something. Uh... But something else will happen beforehand. <laughs> Beatrix! <clears throat> because essentially as the new turn goes away, uh, the... Yeah, because you're like riding away. Technically speaking, uh, even with double dash, that's like, um, <laughs> you know, 70. Even like I count 80, then another 80 is so like 160 longbow has uh, max range of 600. Although beyond 150, there also would be with uh, disadvantage. However, he would not be firing at you. Uh, if any one of you peeks behind, you'll notice that using its dexterity nimble feet, <coughs> Talker starts going uh, like after you almost, trying to go from the bushes, but then Beatrix the most. But uh, the rest of you also feels this almost like static. Like, you know when there's a bad, uh... <clears throat> Hold on, I need to find like, a translation for this. Mm. Uh, bad weather pressure that you feel mm. not great. Like your ears pop? Uh, something like that. So you feel like something's weird and funky going on. Beatrix, uh, because you have... Psychic stuff going on, psionic stuff going on, or telepathy. <clears throat> you do not feel pain, not necessarily, but it feels as if a great weight was pressing down upon you. But not it's not targeting you directly. It's kind of realizing that you are in a room and there is a giant balloon rapidly filling the room and it's just squashing you by the fact of existing. I see. That's not good. I think... And well, I don't know what's going on. But... And yes, what is uh, happening, the kids, all of them, at once, in their own voices, but speaking the same 
thing with glimmers of power sparking through their eyes. They shout, Leave our friends alone! <clears throat> Here's out of curiosity, what's the like the highest level like something akin to like mind damaging spell in terms of like damage dice? Uh I think highest no, it can be upcasted yeah. ba basically. Something that gives like a bit oomph. Like I'm looking for something that's reasonable, like maximum amount of die. Of dice to be rolled, uh, sorry. 14d6. Yeah. Psychic scream. Alright. Uh, if the target is killed, its head explodes. <clears throat> <clears throat> so normally it's 14d6. Uh, let's spice things up a little bit. <clears throat> a lot of d6. So what you see is that... That's a lot of d6. The the plum guy, the red plum guy, start, wants to start following you. And I can spoil the idea, because uh, what you see as he tries to go after you, you hear the, the hive kids, all of them, scream. And there is an unseen ripple. The grass just weaves almost like a huge gust of wind went through. The trees uh, are like... <clears throat> Also, like, not they are not broken and toppled over, but there's almost like a shockwave passing uh, through them. <clears throat> and then, uh, not only the... Instead of a red plume, you see a red geyser of, like, fine mist as the head and, in an instant moment later, the upper portion of the Silver Sucker's body is obliterated into nothingness. <clears throat> because they don't really have like super high amount of uh, uh, yeah, it's, HP. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have. Super also, you rode perfectly average uh, damage. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> Which is satisfying to me as some of those. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that! My uh, encounter tracker just showed up. But also. Uh, basically, uh, a portion of this like hill, small cliffy, like poof, is uh, pulverized, and there's like a almost like a crater. Not really, like pulverized, Holy but you shit. see, but you see like cracks going all around it. <clears throat> However, after that scream, uh, Nalan, the the older one, like remains conscious, like conscious and aware but like sways a little bit and just like breathes hard and falls on his knees the rest of the hive heads just uh, conk out just fall uh, unconscious in the <clears throat> in the cart and spoiler the idea was uh, that if he got close enough uh, he would uh, use this thing on <sighs> fuck now it, now it's, it would use hunter's mark on one of you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. <coughs> All right. With that display of terrifying uh, power, the rest of the Silver Knights cease pursuit as they are unable to uh, catch you up in time, and you are able to escape from the uh, crossroads. Most of you untouched, but most uh, the majority of the kids unconscious. Nalan uh, Red bre dying. breathing heavily and fruit heavily injured. Not like that, but I would say... Eh, actually, I'm gonna be nice and ask you, uh, fruit, do you want, like, despite the magical healing, do you want, like... Because uh, rules as written for that film, uh, lingering injury, you need, like, a skill check to deal with this uh, wound. Mm -hmm. I just, I... I would have like double check because I'm not sure if like magical healing like unless otherwise specified it can just deal with those kinds of I'd, things. I'd say no. 
yeah. if I'd rather have to deal with it. I always um, thought about it that magical healing is like a first aid unless it's a very yeah. powerful spell. So unless if I just just like, higher, yeah. Yeah, if I use like a level one healing ward, <laughs> I just stop the bleeding. That's all I did. I just stopped like, it from bleeding out. Yeah, that's that's like you're alive. <laughs> that's about yeah. it. Um she definitely ripped the arrow out. Um like coughing up blood. Uh like breathing like a like this like <gasps> Like, kind of gasping breath. And she'll just literally just go to cradle Nalan in her arms and, like, check on the kids without even tending to her own wounds at all. Yeah, Beatrix will definitely try to. I know this might be stupid. Beatrix will try to connect to the older kid, like, mentally and try to do, like, physical <laughs> hug, done. Mental hug, also done. <laughs> Uh, give me a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, I have to. DC 16. Do I have a vantage? Just a vantage? Uh, flat. <clears throat> it is like... Walking into a storm. I'm getting a phone call. I had to AFK no. for two seconds. Mm -hmm. okay. A tempest of emotions, a hurricane of raw psychic energy, untrained, untamed, fueled by this grief and fear is rampaging all around you. And it takes for the first few moments <clears throat> It takes all of your willpower to prevent yourself from being torn to pieces by this psychic maelstrom. <clears throat> but even though this was not an often case, perhaps this exact situation is happening to you for the first time, but you had your gifts for much longer and you do not panic, you are focused. <clears throat> and you know what you want to you know what you want to do and avoiding <coughs> or not really avoiding uh, in the mental space it's less about doing uh, like visualizing physical actions like avoiding an incoming projectile more about your own state of mind your own power of will and with that 19, you know you want to help the kids and you believe that they will not hurt you. <clears throat> and you walk through this maelstrom, find yourself in the eye of the storm with the four unconscious, even in this mental space, they are, they don't appear conscious uh, to you. They are uh, sleeping, but there's uh, sweat rolling down their foreheads and they don't look uh, restful. They are trashing around almost as if uh, being assailed by nightmares. <clears throat> and you are able to give them a psionic hack, even if they are not aware of it you realize that the this psychic maelstrom is bit by bit only 